Welcome back to Earth from Space. Today the Copernicus Sentinel-1 mission takes us over Lapland, the largest and northernmost region of Finland, just in time for Christmas. Located within the Arctic Circle, Lapland, also called Sápmi by the Sami people, stretches across northern Norway, Sweden and Finland and into the Kola Peninsula of Russia. Rovaniemi, the capital of Lapland, lies at the top of the image and is considered the official hometown of Santa Claus. In Rovaniemi, the Arctic Circle runs through Santa Claus Village, located 8 kilometers north of the city center. The Arctic Circle marks the southernmost latitude where the sun can stay continuously below or above the horizon for 24 hours, known as the midnight sun in the summer and the polar night in the winter. Lapland during the winter months means heavy snowfall, temperatures well below zero degrees and the northern lights, or the aurora borealis, lighting up the dark night skies. This satellite image combines three radar acquisitions from the Sentinel-1 mission to show changes in land conditions over time. The first from February 2019 is associated with green, the second from March is linked to red, and the third from April depicts changes in blue. The changes that took place over time in this image are largely seen in the bottom left of the image, where sea ice in the Gulf of Bothnia has shifted substantially along the coast. The Gulf of Bothnia, the northernmost arm of the Baltic Sea, is situated between Finland's west coast and Sweden's east coast. As it receives the water of so many rivers, including the Torn and Kemioki rivers visible in the image, its salinity is extremely low and ice cover is maintained for up to five months during the winter. Navigation in the Gulf can be extremely difficult. For this reason, vessels traveling in the Gulf receive icebreaker assistance on their journey across the ice-covered waters and follow the straight lines, easing their navigation. These lines can be seen coming from the port of Roita and the port of Ayos. As an advanced radar mission, Copernicus Sentinel-1 can image the surface of Earth through cloud and rain, regardless of whether it's day or night, making it an ideal mission to monitor areas often shrouded in darkness, like the polar regions. And that brings us to the end of this year's program. We will be back with you in January with more Earth from Space. From everyone at the ESA Earth Observation team, we wish you all a happy holiday season and a very joyful new year.